I think the most important thing when it comes to brewing beer is uh, consistency and quality. A good recipe is no good if your beer has off flavors and it's no good one day if, it, if it's not good the next day. So what we like to do is make sure that our beer is very high quality and it'll taste the same at our brewery as it does in the supermarket, as it does at the pub and wherever you're drinking it. So these are the most important things about making beer to me. Uh, safety is very important. Uh, we got to make sure that our team stays safe. So we have all sorts of safety gear like our work boots, gloves, mask, safety glasses, hard hat, and this keeps us protected from the chemicals we use or uh, dust or, or other things that could uh, that could hurt hurt us here at the brewery. These are our hops. Uh, these give the beer their kind of fruity or floral or spicy flavor. Uh, these ones are quite fruity hops. They're going into our double IPA and they're one of the four main ingredients of beer. These are our butterfly valves. We use those everywhere in the brewery. Uh, they keep beer in and they keep bacteria out and they make it easier to move beer around the brewery. This is how we check our beer for how much sugar is left in our beer. So this one has just started fermenting, so it's got a lot of sugar left. In a couple of days, this number will go down and that sugar will be turned into alcohol. So this slows down our beer so that when we have a carbonated beer, um, it, uh, it doesn't end up really foamy in the glass. You get a nice clean pour that you can drink or test from. But this is how we move beer around the brewery. Uh, the side glass lets us know that the beer is nice and clear and the flow meter tells us how much uh, beer we need to move around. Uh, this one here is a requirement or was a requirement of the Korean tax law um, that they actually just got rid of. So uh, we don't need to use this anymore but it's still very useful uh, for letting us know how much beer we're sending. Uh, it starts out like this. We put it into the tank and then it eats all the sugar in the beer and makes alcohol. And then it drops down into the bottom of the tank and we collect it and it looks like this. And then we can put that into the next beer. So we can keep reusing our, our yeast uh, and it grows and grows and this is what it looks like. Uh, we have whiskey and wine barrels. These ones have an imperial stout in them and we put the beer into them and leave them for anywhere from uh, six months to two years and the beer works with the wood and the bacteria and creates a whole new set of flavors uh, of aged beer.